22 minutes away from 8 o'clock, a festival that amazed crowds last year is promising even more this year. The Chinese Lantern Festival is back at Fair Park, and Fiona's there live with a preview. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning. Well, we are on the Imperial Dragon Boat in the middle of the lagoon here at Fair Park. It's all part of the Chinese Lantern Festival that returns for its second year here. And I got to tell you, even in the daylight, even though we can't light anything up right now, it's a completely different experience. And Wayne Ooh. Adam joins me again to talk more about that. And Welcome we're, aboard. Oh, yes, yes. Ahoy. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that correct? Um, and it sits right here on the lagoon. And this is, how, how, how big is this boat? How long? It's over 120 feet long. And the cool thing is, uh -huh. you can come aboard across this amazing gang plank from the mainland and get an amazing view of several of the lanterns that surround us. And we're looking at a few of them right now. We've got the castle here to our left. Yeah, the sun is just rising on the Castle of Dreams. This is a fanciful take on European castles. This is an incredible uh, photo op for people who are going to be visiting. And one thing about the lantern uh, uh, over there is that it is actually modeled after the real one, but yeah. much smaller, of course. That, that's <laughs> a palace lantern that's based on the Imperial Palace uh, yeah, out of Beijing. And this particular lantern is 20 times the size of the original, but the detail is amazing. The screen is going to be rotating in the middle and lit up at night. It's just fantastic. And the detail is what you can really see in the daylight. And one thing I want to point out uh, is that earlier we got to see some of that beautiful glowing illumination earlier. And what's great about last year compared to this year is folks are going to see a lot of new stuff. Oh yeah, 17 brand new lantern sets are here this year. There are just a couple that are returning from last year, but if you came last year and enjoyed it, you'll enjoy it so much more this year. And if you didn't see it last year, come this year because you won't want to miss some of these spectacular pieces. We had over 40 people coming here from China to construct these on site in Dallas. It took them more than six weeks of work and just incredible results. These are the experts in their field from China. And incredibly rare to see in the United States. Very much. On this scale, you don't see this very much at all. It's happened twice in Dallas, but uh, this is not a touring show. This is specifically built just for this site in Fair Park. Real quickly, we want to talk about what folks uh, can enjoy at the festival in general. There are acrobats, there's Chinese food. Oh, yeah. There, we're going to have daily acrobat shows several times a day. Chinese food available. There are folk artists who are going to be demonstrating intricate crafts like egg carving. This is amazing. You've never seen this. Carving the shell of an egg into beautiful figurines and palm weaving into cool figures like insects and dragons. And people can take that home with them. Yeah, those are all for sale. Now, one thing this year is if you buy a day pass to the fair, you can still enjoy this in the daylight and then come back at night. You're allowed, there's going to be re-entry. Right. That's new this year. If you get a ticket to the Lantern Festival during the daytime, you can come back at night. Unlimited free re-entry on the same day. Yeah. Now, speaking of crafts, we're going to be, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to help make a lantern uh, in the next hour. We'll see how that goes. So once again, the Chinese Lantern Festival opens this Friday at the State Fair of Texas, and it actually runs all the way through January 5th of next year. So you can enjoy it well past the State Fair and over the holidays. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Fiona Gorsiza for Good Day. Something to see. Thanks, Fiona.